Alyssa Armo is your host and presenter, and we'll be starting promptly in just two minutes. Topic today, trade 30 minutes a day to make 100K a year. This is presented by Melissa Armo, sponsored by the Stock Swoosh LLC. That's the thestockswish.com. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Hello everyone and welcome at the sound of the trumpet. Most of you know that means it's time to begin. Please put Again, please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the stockswish.com. Please welcome Melissa Armo. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you, Online Trader Central, for having me. Let me know if everyone can hear me today and see the slide. It's a red PowerPoint slide. Can everybody see it? Okay, great. If you have any questions as we go along today as I'm talking, you can just type the questions here in the room. I'm the only one that can see everyone's questions, but I will answer the questions as we go along. We should have enough time today. Okay, welcome. So as Kevin said, my name is Melissa Armel and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. I'm actually a day trader and I run a live trading room and I teach people the one strategy that I personally trade. I only trade one strategy in the market. It's on gaps. And that's what we're going to talk about today. It's a strategy that sets up very quickly in the morning at a very specific time period, which is right into the open between 9.30 and 10. So I trade the U.S. stock market, which opens at 9.30 a.m. And in this 30 minute period, a lot of volatility happens in stocks. So with that volatility, if you know how to train this open period, you can make a, a really nice amount of money. So today's topic is to trade 30 minutes a day to make 100K a year. If you would like more information after the class, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. I can go follow me at Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, any one of these places. I'd say the best place to go and subscribe is my YouTube site. Just go and click on Stock Swoosh under YouTube because I put a lot of videos and webinars there. And in fact, I'm taping this right now. It'll be on YouTube tonight. So welcome. Welcome and thank you for coming today. Hopefully you're here with an open mind and you're ready to learn something new. Now, before I start today, I'm going to give you a tip. Okay, this is a Stock Swoosh tip of the day. Buy a strong stock before Wednesday. Now, why am I saying that? Because there's an FOMC... Uh, announcement on Wednesday. My prediction is that it has a positive effect on the market. Therefore, if you, you want to be long in a stock, or you could be long this, the, the S&P or the QQQs, before that hits, before that econ comes out, before the meeting on Wednesday. 
So you, you have tomorrow, today's only Monday, or even Wednesday morning. Best thing is to be long, bullish, okay, in a strong stock or the market. Now, G, uh, J asks a question, does this apply to ES futures? Well, in the case of futures, you would be looking at a chart. Like, for example, this is a daily chart. And so I trade gaps in a daily chart. You would be looking at the charts for the overall market indexes. That's how you would use it for market ETFs. So, yes, but you would be looking at gaps in the ETFs in the market. Does that make sense, GJ? You'll see as we go along. Anyways, this is the tip of the day, okay? Now, I am actually in, this is a chart of Amazon. I'm actually, I bought an option today for Amazon. Doesn't expire till next Friday, but this is a good long position here. It's a good bullish chart here in Amazon. Amazon and Google are two of the strongest things right now in the market. So we're going to get right into it. Maybe you've been thinking about day trading, which is what I do, and you haven't done it, but you, you're just thinking, well, I don't have time to do it. I don't have time to do that in my full-time job and, and do all the other things in my life. And maybe you're looking for more time, more time for yourself. Maybe you have a full-time job and a part-time job where you work weekends. The great thing about trading is markets close Saturdays and Sundays, and you don't have to work. So if you've been looking for more time for yourself, getting ready for to have a good year, basically, because it's still early in the calendar year 2016. If you want more time for leisure, trading can give it to you as a career if you really want to do it. More time for leisure, more time for freedom. I have every afternoon off. Like right now I'm here, it's raining outside in New York today, so I didn't go out today. But every afternoon I have free because I only trade in that first part of the day. I don't work long hours. And if you're somebody that's working, you know, 50, 60 hours a week, maybe a salaried job, whether you work 50 hours a week or 35, you get paid the same. The nice thing, again, about day trading is you're only trading when the market's open. And this type of trading that I'm doing in the first 30 minutes is just between 9.30 and 10. And also, you can go on vacations and work for yourself when you trade for yourself. Like if I want to take off, I can take a week off whenever I feel like it. The market's still open, but I don't have to be there. It's not the same when you have a job and you work for someone else. You have to ask for time off, plan it all around their time. And I know a lot of people, because I've talked to a lot of people in the last four years since I've had the business, feel feel very heavy and weighed down by life, like that that they just can't seem to turn things around. And one of the things that I've been able to do through teaching people how to trade, teaching people how to make money trading, is to help them turn things around mentally so that they can feel more positive that they can change their own luck and circumstances. I truly believe that we can create our own luck. Part of it is having an optimistic and positive attitude. If we don't have that, we have nothing. It's woe is me kind of thing doesn't ever get you anywhere in life. It's the same thing with trading. I fully believe and have conviction in the trades that I take. Does it mean that everyone works? No, but quite frankly, a lot of them do. You have to get to that point where you have the right mental attitude, and we're going to talk about that a little bit today, too. So you've got to start to envision the life that you want, believe that you can successfully trade the market, and believe that you can make this kind of money that we're talking about, six figures a year or more. Life is really not about working 24-7. I don't. 2016 is a year to have the life you want. And me personally, I have a lot of big projects for myself this year that I'm very excited about. And, and last year, I went on a magnificent vacation. I went to, to Cannes, France, and I would never have been able to do that. I went for two weeks if I didn't trade the market. It's the kind of thing where you have to set goals for yourself, and then you have to find a way to work to achieve those goals. And you've got to open yourself up to the possibilities of life. And a lot of it has to do with your mental state, with your mind, thinking and believing that you could do it. If people are trading the market and losing, then they don't even think that they can make this kind of money. Not only do they think, not think they can make 100K a year, they don't even think they can make a dollar. But where are you going to go then? Why are you even doing this? You have to change your mental outlook and believe that you can do it. And I'm going to break it down to you here in a couple slides and show you how possible it is. But you don't want to wait. It's still early in the year. You either go full speed and go with it, and you do it, or you don't, okay? But you need a plan of action how to get there. And you need to know where you want to go. And you just have to decide, this is it. I'm doing it. This is my year. I'm going to make money trading. I'm going to learn how to do this thing. I'm going to take it seriously. I'm going to get focused. I'm going to get a plan of action. If not now, when? And you have to decide. 
Now this was zoom Z, we're gonna go over this. This was a gap that happened last week. It was a bearish gap, it was a short. I go long and short, but I prefer to short. The reason I prefer to short stocks, and again, even though I said take a long before Wednesday because of the market. The reason I prefer to short stocks though on a daily basis is because that shorty momentum comes into stocks really, really quickly. It comes in fast and quick, and I do not like to be in trades long. I just don't. It's just a personal preference. I like to make money fast. The quicker I'm in and the quicker I'm out, the less that my money is risk, okay? So think about what is your plan of action for this year. If one of your goals for 2016 is to earn more money, what is your plan of action to do this? How are you going to do it? If you're gonna earn more money trading, how are you going to do it? One plan of action could be to learn how to trade to make money in the stock market. And if you decide to make money in the market, you will need another plan of action, which is what? How will you make this money trading? You need a comprehensive, detailed, focused, and specific strategy to trade, to make money trading. Now, this is very, very true. It's similar in the morning. I get up very early in the morning at 5 a.m. every day and I go work out and do a spin class. And then I'm back and I've got my workout done and I'm prepared to trade and then I'm done working very early. The early bird gets the worm in the market. It's the same principle, same principle with life and successful people. You get the stuff done that you've gotta get done as quickly as you can. Now, I happen to live on the East Coast, so for me, you know, I get up early. If you live in the West Coast, you'll have to get up earlier. If you live all the way on the other side of the world, you'll be trading in the afternoon if you're in Europe or even farther away. But in reference to the stock market, the early bird gets the worm, meaning the people that make the money happen to get in the trades early in the morning. 80% of the moves that stocks make happen into that opening period because institutions train and take positions on or off buy positions or sell positions usually into the open and also sometimes into the close except for i don't like to stay and sit at my desk all day and watch the market or do nothing between 10 and 3 30 because that's what you have to do to get the closing trades but in the morning is usually when you get the most momentum when hedge funds banks and institutions are putting positions on and off and they have this all planned out ahead of time and usually a lot of it has to coincide with moves of the market economic news that happens or even st earnings that stocks have and stocks have earnings out at night after four o'clock and also in the morning as early as 7 a.m and sometimes even earlier so it's about the time of the day and the institutions and what they're planning on doing with their money that this is how you can make money trading this period institutions take positions on and off so they will buy in and sell stocks into the open which is between 9 30 and 10. sometimes it happens in five minutes Okay, so the most lucrative time of the day to trade as a day trader or even take a position for a long term trade because you might get a better price is between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Same concept, again, into the open or into the close. Stocks make 80% of their moves into the open. Panic action happens and comes into the stock into the open when the stock is gapping down usually, which is what I like to do, we're gonna talk about today. And people panic and sell as a result of the gap. Now, sometimes the stock will gap up we're going to look at some of those examples today. It's not the idea of the panic of the selling, but it's the idea of the excitement and, and the anticipation of something rallying. And then people want to get in it quickly, quickly, quickly and go long the stock into the open. Is there that excitement? And they want to get in before the stock goes up and higher. Because, of course, people want to make money getting in the best price they can if they're going long a stock. The time of the day matters so much, so much when you trade. It is the difference between winning and losing sometimes. Sometimes you get in something and you say, well, this is a great trade. It's a fabulous long. It's going to go here, here, here. Well, you might take it at a terrible place or at a terrible time, and then you're down in it before you're up. That's very difficult for people. It's very hard for people sometimes to get in a position, be down as soon as they take it, and then have to wait. I hate doing that. I like to take a position right away with a perfect entry and the perfect time and get out quickly when I'm up. So a lot of it has to do with the time of the day. So you start your morning off early. You prepare to trade in the morning before you even do anything. I prepare to trade way before the open. Like I said, I get up, go to the gym in the morning, come back. I start looking and scanning for stocks between 7.30, 8 o'clock. And then I spend about an hour getting ready before I train. And I start the room. Around 8.30, 9 o'clock, I start talking. And I know exactly what I'm trading, exactly what I'm doing, even before the market opens. Okay? And the benefit is then that I'm done. I'm done very early, by 10 o'clock, 10, 15. So training in the first 30 minutes is like getting a suitcase of money thrown into your lap some days because the moves happen quick. But you've got to know what to watch. 
And that's why you have to be prepared ahead of time. So how will you know when to spot the opportunity? How will you know to take it before the open? Because that's when you have to be watching it when the, when the market's open or you won't get the trade. A lot of day traders make the mistake of waiting till 10 o'clock or later until after a stock is either red or green on the day to decide whether to short or go long it. And many, many times what happens is the move is already done or 80% of the move is done. They don't get the risk to reward. All the momentum is almost out of the stock and it has already moved. And unless you've got the direction right with the market correct, you don't get any more play in the stock the rest of the day after 10. And you don't have the same risk to reward entries, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Anyways, I devised a method to rate with a checklist to determine the pick. The pick in this case here on this day was Groupon, okay? So the stock closed the night before here, around $4.60. Then the stock had earnings. I forget it was in the morning or at night. I think it was at night actually. Anyways, the stock gapped down, okay? So the stock gapped down here on the night. It opened here in the morning when the market opened at 9.30 around $4 and 30 some cents, okay? And do you see the stock fell on the day? So the low one here in the day was like around four something, closed here around 4.15-ish. So if you shorted the stock on this day as a day trader, you made money. And if you got in it very quickly, I'll show this chart later on, you made money quick and you could have gotten out. And again, whether you get out at 4.20, 4.15, 4.10 or $4, who cares? If you get it in it early enough, before it drops, you're up money, okay? So why is trading the first 30 minutes of the day very profitable? Number one, because stocks gap early in the morning. They gap right into that open. Because stocks that gap force an action by position holders of the stock. For example, let's go back. So again, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, I'm gonna quickly just tell you a brief review. When a stock closes at one price at four o'clock Eastern time and opens at a different price, that's a gap. It could be, it could be up or down. In fact, over here, Groupon did a bullish gap. This was way back in February. In the middle of February, the stock closed here around $2.90, gapped up. This was a gap up. You could have gone long Groupon here. This was around $3.30. So the stock closed at one price here at four o'clock, opened at a different price here at 9.30. In this case, it gapped up. In this case here, it gapped down. Okay, either way, it's a gap. But how do you know to do this one? How do you know to go long it? How do you know not to short it? How do you know to short this and not go long this one? I have a system that I divide as a checklist to rate it. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, this forces an action when it gaps, okay? And this action forces position holders of the stock to do something, whether it's buy it or sell it. And that's how you get the move, the momentum. And these momentum moves happen within the first 15 to 30 minutes of the day because people need to get out and they have to get out fast. And sometimes, particularly like in the case of the Groupon one from last week, they wanna get out as quickly as they can because they might be losing money. You might even call it panic activity at times. The value in this first 15 to 30 minutes of the day is that the stock sets up setups, provide good entries, which I'm gonna show you on a smaller chart in a minute, with small stops. So you get the small stop by playing the stock on an intraday chart and you get a large move. So therefore the risk to reward can be huge, meaning you can double your money in a couple of minutes. That's great, that's fantastic, okay? So now how do you do it? Again, the plan of action, how do you trade to be successful and make this kind of money? You find a list of stocks that are gapping, okay? You can do the bullish ones or the bearish ones. I teach a class for both. Then you rate the gaps. This is the, the checklist that I go through every day. Then you play the highest rated gap on the day. You can do any one you want. You can do all of them if they rate good. I usually like to focus on one. And you only play gaps that rate over 20 points or more. I have a 26 point checklist, but I'm trying to focus on ones that are 20 or more. That's my benchmark, okay? I'm not looking for perfect score. I'm looking for 20 or more. And I do not trade where there are no good gaps. This is also very important as well. You don't wanna give money back to the market in crappy trades. So you, you may not take a trade maybe on a day where there's nothing good. You trade aggressively when there are perfect, highly rated gaps, which you will know when you learn the golden gap system, okay? And you learn this system and you don't need to do anything else, but this one thing to make consistent money in the market. And you can use it for swing trades and overnight trades and day trades and option trades. And again, right now I'm long Amazon in an option and I'm also long the S&P in two options. And then I've been day trading and I've been shorting them as the day trades, okay? 
but all of it is gaps and all of it to know which is the pick of the right pick is with the rating system. So making money trading gaps is easy once you know how to do it. Everyone wants to whine about, oh, it's so hard, it's so hard, it's so hard. That's because many traders are all over the place. They don't even know what to do. They don't know if they should be going long or going short or buying this or selling that. And the worst thing that people do is they'll take a trade in and they'll take a position in something like maybe Amazon. And then they'll then they'll then they'll short it. Then they'll flip around and they'll buy it. Then they'll lose in one trade, lose in another trade. And should they buy it? Should they short it? Should they do this? Should they do that? No. One stock okay has one trend directional trend on any one given day that's it okay and i'm telling you the trade for the wednesday into the wednesday because everything that's strong is going to move massively when the market does on the fomc into wednesday it's like a it's like a no-brainer okay the market is higher i've been calling it all year you know it fell off a planet in january and february you can go back and watch every video i've done in the market and youtube every webinar that i've done that i've talked about it and i can't tell you how many emails i get from other places because i'm on online trader essentials list too i get every webinar that they do even that i present here i cannot tell you how many emails i am getting that people think that this is a bear market rally. It is not. The market is in an uptrend. It never broke the uptrend all year. The market is higher. I am long the S&P. I've been long the S&P since December, actually. And then it fell. And I still kept looking. I still kept looking at it. And I call this amazing. We've actually are positive on the year in the S&P in the last week. And everyone thinks this is a bear market rally, but it's not. Be long the market, if anything. The market won't make a new high this year. It's an amazing call, and I made it, and I predicted it, and I did it even when the market fell. Why? Because I rated all the gaps in the market. I rated in every bearish gap and every bullish gap. The only way that you can accurately predict what something is going to do is with gaps. I'm telling you right now, there's 20 million resistance levels and 20 million support levels in anything you look at. Anything you look at, how do you know where to buy or where to sell or what to do or to make money consistently? You have to have a strategy. And, I, and I'm telling you the only strategy that has any power to it or momentum into it or any predictability at all, because you've got to have the predictability. Otherwise, you can't make money consistently. Whether it's 100 grand or 30 grand or a million dollars, you need the consistency and the level of the predictability. And I absolutely have it in my system. Absolutely. And the call that I made in this market is unbelievable. It's probably the best call I've ever made, with the one exception, which is Netflix. But well, if we have time tonight, we'll go over it. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, be long a strong stock because the market is ready to blow and it's going to squeeze out all the shorties that think that this market is lower and still aren't giving up on it. And you can t I can tell the market still isn't giving up on it because I looked at how the market trading today and we're inching and inching and inching our way up and the shorts haven't given up. But they're going to give up when the buying comes in and the market starts to rally. And the point I'm trying to make is that it is so easy to make money if you know what to do. But the problem is that people don't. People don't. Okay? Luckily, I do. It did take me three years to figure this out. I lost a lot of money now I figured out what I'm doing right now. And I had the guts to do it, to trade my own money and lose my own money to figure this out. But I'm telling you, it works. Now, let's go on to the Zoom Z. Zoom Z closed the night before up here. This was last week. Closed to 21 something, gap down. Gap down to $19 and some change. Okay. Rallied. Here's a 200 period moving average. This is a red line. This is the blue line, which is the 20 period moving average, and the black line, which is the 8. This green line here is the 50. This is the daily chart. Go down and look here on the daily chart. So everything I'm doing with the gaps for the pick. For the rating is on the daily chart. So I get up in the morning, I see the gap. Zoom Z, gap down. Open, rally, drop, short it, boom. If you are waiting to do this in here, 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 could you make money? Yes. How do you make money quickly? Boom, in the morning. Okay? So here was Zoom Z. This is last week. Here's the one minute chart. Here's where you make money as a day trader. The stock closed the night before up here at 2190 something, gap down here in the morning. Here's the open, go across. Here's the opening bar. It was a little wiggly jiggly. Okay, you have to know the stock though. It, it's, it's fine to trade. Some machines in it, which is why the bars look weird, like with all the tails. Anyways, it opened here around 1960 something, open, rallied, held basically held the $20 area. Remember, support and resistance are areas. High in here is 2010. Accounts, counts as a home for $20. Dropped, broke. Here's the short, short it. Boom, stop over here. You're in, you're out. Now, as it turns out, you could have held this. You could have held this. Target was 19, dream target in here. 
was all the way down, went down to 1850. But you would have had to be in all day. I don't like to do that. That isn't my thing. I like to do the morning. Here's the morning trade. 40 cents, 50 cents, wherever you get out. Low in here ended up being 1928. So you take it, you hit it, you're up, boom, out. But again, you could have shorted this again. You could have shorted this 50 times in the day. But I like to do the move into the morning. So if the high in here is 2010 and the low in here is 1930 and the low in day is 1850, guess what? This made the majority of the move in the first five minutes of the day. It's not to say that you can't train these longer as if they have the follow through and continuation, but a lot of times as the day goes on, you have to have the market with you. And if you don't have the market with you, then things won't play out, okay? So entry time in this was 9.36. It's a short. I'm shorting it. I'm betting that the stock price in Zoom Z is lower. That's what you're doing when you short. You say, I'm betting that it's going to drop under 19.93. If you don't think it is, you don't take the trade as a short. But it doesn't mean you go long it. Anyway, stop is over 2015. Risk is 25 cents approximately, okay? So if you want to make 100K a year and that's your goal, you have to have a set risk amount. What are you risking? How are you going to achieve that goal? 2,000 shares of Zoom Z was $500 risk. That's it. Exit, 1940. Again, the low was 1928. The next four opens green. You hit out of it. Boom, you get filled. Total profit is 1,060. This is a great trade. This is a great trade. You more than doubled your money in less than 10 minutes. A couple of minutes, you're in the trade, you're out of the trade in five, six, seven minutes. And that's it. 1,000 bucks, your day is done. But you don't even have to make $1,000 every day. If you do, you're making way more than 100 grand a year. But the point is that you might have two or three losers in a month. You have to account for that. But you will have many, many days where you make this kind of money because of the momentum in the stocks. So you have a goal, you stick to the goal, you're risking a certain amount of money per day, per trade, you make it, you're done. But I will tell you that if you kept the 2,000 shares and held it all the way down and actually went to 1850, you actually could have made almost three grand if you stayed in this to the low of the day. But you would have had to be in it for more than a couple minutes. This is again, not what I do. I'm in and out very quick. But if you wanna stay longer, you can. You could have taken it down, you could have gotten out of half of it, you could have gotten out of half of it here, let the rest rally back, and do it, drop, got the breakthrough, and followed the rest down. Booked $500, let it rally back. Risk another little bit, 250 Drop, get the break, follow it through in here, all the way down to the low. I mean, there's so many different ways to trade this. Again, I teach this all in the class. Does anyone have any questions about the Zoom Z? Nice sell-off in this went through, went to the dream target for the day. Now, as I was talking about earlier, you know, this idea of making $100,000 a year. You don't have to roll out of bed and start out trading if you never trade against before doing this, but that could be your goal. You say, in one year from now, this is what I want to do. So you say, the first month, I'm gonna prove to myself I can make $750 a week. That's only $150 a day. Then the next month, you say, I'm gonna make $1,500 a week. That's pretty good money. Comes out to be $300 a day. Totally, totally, totally doable. And you get to the point where you say after that, maybe after the second month, you set another goal for yourself. You're working to make $500 a day or $2,500 a week. And that's 130 grand a year. Either way, to be able to make $39,000 a year, extra income working for just 30 minutes a day is a, is a great, great amount of money for the time that you're spending it. It equates to the time. It's the time element. There are some trades that I take that I make several thousand dollars a minute. There's no other place in the world that I can even make that, except for maybe in the entertainment world. You have to think about the amount of time that you're spending, even to make $300. In a trade that you're in for three minutes is amazing. Where, where are you going to go and get paid that? You have to work all day for eight hours, some people, to make 300 bucks a day. And again, if the goal is to make $130,000 a year income, working part-time hours is great. It's amazing. So I can teach you how to make this kind of money in highly rated golden gaps. This is what I do. I name my system golden gaps, but they're gaps that just happen to rate high in the market. A lot of people have mental hurdles about this, this, these numbers, $100,000 a year, oh, $100,000 a year. You've got to get over your mental hurdle and, with your trading. If you have this mental hurdle, it's going gonna, it's gonna to prevent you from doing well. It's all in your head. Stop working against yourself 
that it cannot happen. Just stop it. Many, many people are their own worst enemy. And you got to start to make it happen. You chunk it out. 100 k a year is only $384 a day. This is totally doable. You don't need to make $1,000 a day to hit this mark. Everyone wants to make $1,000 a day, $500 a day, $1,000. You don't need to. You don't. Some days you will. Some days you'll lose. But if your losses are kept low, you'll be far ahead of your goals in the end. Many people have too high of expectations. And trust me, when I say this, I'm talking from experience. I'm talking from experience. I'm telling you, if I could go back in time and rewind my life back to 2008, you know what I would do? I would lower my expectations. Because at the time that I started trading, I lost most of the money that I lost right when I started. My expectation was that I was brilliant. And therefore, I was going to be able to figure this out in three to six months. Guess what? It took me three years. Okay. Lower your expectations and you will achieve your goals. And not only that, you'll be pleasantly surprised at how easily and less stressed out you are and you can do it. It's stressful to have these huge expectations and then fall short of them and feel bad about yourself and then hate yourself in the market. And then it gets in your head. It's a mental thing then that you have to overcome. You can get ahead. Lower your expectations when you start out and all of a sudden you will find yourself exceeding them. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, you will be at the original expectation that you had for yourself in far shorter of a time frame because you will know what to do. You will have the expertise and you have the skill set. This is a skill. Trading is a skill. I'm very, very good at what I do. I can pick something and look at something and rate it right away and do it in my head and train. And I'm, I'm the best, fastest trader out there calling stuff in a one minute chart. I do it almost instantaneously. It's just in my blood now. It's, it's a knowing, it's a skill. You learn from me and you will learn a skill, a skill that will last you your whole life as long as the market lives and as long as you trade. You must learn the skill. It's a skill set based thing. Many, many people want to come in the trading room and they want to take my trades and that's great. And I allow free trials for the room, but you will never get the skill coming into me in a trial. And you won't get the skill even if you're there every day, even except for the fact that you can't be because I don't let anyone join the room unless they've done the class. Why? Because people need to learn it. Because you need to learn it and be reliable on yourself because I'm not going to be doing this for 100 years from now, running the room. And not only that, you'll never get good if you don't learn how. It is a skill. You've got to be willing to master that skill, like riding a bike or playing a musical instrument like the piano. So think about what I'm saying if you're a trader right now. Get over your mental hurdle to make $100,000 a year. And maybe in a year, you'll be making two hundred. dollars What do you need to do this? Stay in control. Stay in control, don't go off the rails. If things don't work out, don't go crazy. Don't take 10 trades in a day if your plan was to take one or two. You get a good system like mine and don't even trade if you don't have a system at all. Stop, stop losing money if you're losing and you don't know what to do and you don't even have a strategy. And buying support and shorting resistance isn't a strategy and it's gonna crush some people who are short this market. You gotta get a good mentor like me Okay, someone that can actually tell you this is right or this is wrong or don't do that or that's a crappy trade or take this right now. When I called Amazon, this was back at the beginning of the year, this was another trade, a different one, another option I did. I told everyone in the room, take this trade. Right now I said to everyone, take this trade right now, take this trade today. And we all did it and everyone did it. Everyone in the room just did the trade that had the ability to take options. The people in the room that didn't weren't set up for options didn't do it. But I said, I order everyone to take this trade. Everyone that could did it and we all made money. Everyone got out of a different place, but I was so confident that the trade would work. That's when a mentor says, this trade is so good, you can't not not take it. And I don't say that about every single trade in the morning, but I'm saying I said that about the Amazon option into the earnings. And you've got to get over your issues with money. So many people, their expectations are just completely blown, and yet they're so doable. But it's the fact that people want to see it right, right now, the second, okay? You've got to... Get over your issues with money. And everyone has them. We're all human beings. We're emotional. We're happy when we're up. We're sad when we're down. I get it. Okay? I'm a human being too. I get upset when I lose in trades. It's never it's never not going to be like that. And I get very excited when I win. But I've learned to be more even keeled about it. And I've learned to, to, to be more realistic in my expectations because I have so much confidence in myself and I know that the market can provide it for me. That if I lose money on a Monday, I'll make money on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I just know, okay, from experience in doing this now for eight years. But I know that a lot of people have issues with money and you've got to get over them now rather than a year from now. It will hinder your ability to be able to do well in this thing because a lot of it has to do with risk, taking risk and being able to put the trade on and believe in it.
and also stop blaming other people, the market, and whatever, whatever, if you're not doing well. And if you're not doing well, then take a step back, take a break. I talked to a gentleman, this was a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago, I was talking to him about doing my class, and he never ended up doing it. He was so nervous about spending the money for the class. I said, you know what, take a break. I think you should stop. Don't do anything for a while, okay? Sometimes when you're in that place and you're so scared to take a train, you can't do it. You're like frozen, frozen, okay? Ultimately, people are responsible for their own success. I am responsible for my success. You are responsible for your success. One of the things, this is back, this was back uh, uh, two months ago or whatever, a month and a half ago. This was when I was in the Amazon and Google at the same time. And both of these trades ran up. If I had gotten out of Amazon in total in the whole entire trade and Google at the whole entire trade, it would have made $31,000 in the span of two weeks. Now I held some of both of these into the earnings and Amazon didn't end up falling through in the earnings even though I was up a lot in it, but I did get out of it with profit and Google did fall through in the gap up in the earnings. Either way, it blew my mind of the fact that I realized that I am responsible for my success. I'm responsible for taking options on top of the day trades that I take if I want to make extra money. If I ever want to make a million dollars a year trading, who's going to make it happen? Not anyone else but me. Me and only me. Be responsible for your own success. And I was responsible for not getting out of all of these before the earnings, which, which, I, which I probably will do the next time because it was, it was so much money. It was so much money. And now the Amazon I'm in right now, I wish money in, it could, it could be worth way more by the time that it's over because I bought it at a $600 strike price and today it was almost there. It was, it was $25 away and I got two weeks in it and I took it today. I was up in it already. I'm responsible for my success when I take trades and make money and you are responsible for yours and you're responsible for yourself and learning something that works in the market or don't do it. But don't blame other people and don't blame the market because that works against your mental ability to be able to do it then once you do come across someone like me who can teach you something that works. And I really genuinely want people to do well. That's why I ordered everyone to take this trade and, and, and everyone that could did. Now let's get back to what I was saying. So I saw this today. I saw this today. When I saw this this morning, I saw it this morning and it ran up a dollar. It ran up a dollar and I didn't take it. And I thought, oh my Atlanta. I should have taken it when I saw it. And then it pulled back and I let the order sit and I said, screw it. I'm getting in it today because I know the market is going to blow on Wednesday. Just like I said, the market's going to blow and I wanted to be long something. I said, this is it. And it ran up a dollar today. And I, and it pulled back late in the day, again, into the close when there's a lot of volatility into the open and into the close. You could have taken it in the morning in the open and I didn't, I didn't take it. It ran up over three. And then I pulled back and I said, that's it, I'm in, boom. And I was up as soon as I took it. And, and again, Wednesday's the day. So I have to be responsible for taking my own trades and you have to be responsible too and for doing the good picks. And this was a gap up, okay? Here was another one, EXPR. Here's a great example. Lots of people say, well, stuff fills the gap, Melissa. And why are you going long bullish gaps and shorting down gaps when gaps fill themselves? No, they don't. No, they don't. This was a continuation. EXPR had earnings last week. Stock closed here at 19, gapped up, gapped up to 20, 30 something or wherever it opened. Fell on the day. Could you have shorted this and made money in the day? Yes, but it really is a long. It really is a long and it's not going to fill anything here at all. It dropped, dropped in here. I forget what the market did this day. I don't even remember. I think the market fell on the day. On the ninth, I have to go back and look. Anyways, this fell on the day, but guess what? Next day it went, next day it went, next day it went. Followed through. Continuation. Even when I found that gaps rate well on the day that I look to do them in the direction of the gap many, many times. If they don't work on the day, they work after. The next day or the next day or the next day. If they rate well per the 26 point system, which you don't know until you get up in the morning and see the gap and you rate it. But this was a good long, not a short. And again, if you get up in the morning and short this on the day of the gap and it's a good gap, then you then you might think it's a short. It's going to fill the gap and you might take it overnight and then look what it does. And it breaks a new high. You have to look at something and say, let me look at this whole thing. Let me look at the whole picture here and see what this is going to do. You don't short something and flip it and go long it. Okay. Like, for example, Amazon. It's a long. That's it. Okay. One direction for the stock that you play it and you do it or you don't. Now let's go back to the green pawn here. I did talk about this earlier. This was a bearish gap from here. Again, you could have gone long it back in February. I don't remember the reason for this gap. But anyways, here was the short from the earnings that happened last week. 
Again, very, very quickly, what happens into the open, into the first couple of minutes of the day? This move, the stock closed up here at 450, gap down here to 430 something. Low in here is what? It actually set the low of the day in the first six minutes of the day. How many times has this happened? A billion. A million in a year. Okay? So you take the short. Stock opens drops. Short it. Put in the stop. Boom. And you just get out anywhere in here in the tail. And that's it. You're done. Five minutes, six minutes, you're done. Could you have shorted this again? Yes, but it took forever then. It did go back down near the low, but that was it. That was the low of the day. Into the open. Price of the short was 427. Stop over 435. If you don't know to watch Groupon, though, you don't, you don't get it. It dropped and broke in five minutes. If you don't watch it, you miss it. Again, your risk should be the same. 400, 500 if your goal is to make 100K. And you could have taken 5,000 shares of this short. It's so cheap. So cheap. Exit is $4.10. Unless you have an order out to hit you out at the 405, but this made that tail quick. Total profit, $850. Again, you don't have to make $1,000 every day. If your goal is to make $384 which, per day, which gets you to the $100,000 a year, $384 a day in profit, you would make $100,000 a year if you traded that well to do it. But one or two days you might lose in a month. So some days you will make $800, $900, $1,000. But that's how you do it. You chunk it out. You look at the bigger picture per week, per month, per year. Everybody is so narrow-minded that trade. Think about it. In your goal of your life, why are you doing this? You are not going to come to me and take my class just to learn how to do this to make the money back for the class. No, 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 no. You are coming to me if you pay me for my information to learn how to do it so you know how to trade for the rest of the life and as long as you live. To make thousands and hundreds and thousands of millions of dollars. Not to make back the cost of my class. You have to do this like you're serious about it, like you really want to do it. You want to learn something. You want to get the skill. And people come to me and they take my class and they learn the skill from me to be in the room, to take the class, and they learn it. Because they know that the, that the huge, huge opportunity is knowing to look to predict what I can do, to predict that Groupon will fall, to predict that EXPR will follow through, to predict that the S&P will make a brand new all-time high this year and immediately along and Amazon too. That the overall bigger picture is to learn something that you can make extra money, whether you quit your job and do it full-time, whether you do it as a part-time thing, whether you want to work from home, whatever. Whatever the reason is, you are doing this because over the course of your life, you want to have something to have extra money coming in. And maybe if you end up losing your job or getting fired, you get sick of it and want to quit. Or in two years from now, you're making 300 grand in your trading a half an hour a day. You quit your job and you want to work from home and you prove to yourself that you can do it. And you can do it consistently because you've got the skill. You've honed the skill. The beauty in the Golden Gap system is all you need to do is learn it. It's all you need to do. And some people learn it really quickly and some people it takes a little bit longer. Either way, I let people retake the class for free as many times as they want to because I understand there's a learning curve for people is different no matter who you are. And I don't know you until I get to know you and you're asking me questions and you're in the class, okay? But I can tell you, if you've learned this system, you can predict where stock will go before it goes there. I called Urban on the day of the gap and I said, I just very casually looked at it and I was like, $33, $33, $33 is dream target in Urban, it's gonna get there. I called a very, very late trade in a five minute chart at Urban last week. I said $33, there it goes. I called it, it ran from where I called it, even it was a late trade, it ran up to 33, over 33. It's just that easy. Why? Because it's a good, it was a good gap. It was a good bullish gap. Again, the idea of it filling the gap, nonsense. Do sometimes things go the opposite direction of the gap? Yes, but I don't play those things. And then they don't rate well per my system. And so I don't do those things. And there's no predictability about it. There's a predictability here. The predictability is so good that not only do I not, not only do I know to go long it, I even know the number to get out. Okay? Now, whether you stay in it till it goes there to the number is up to you. Again, the money management. I like to get in out quickly. You may not want to wait for it to go to 33. Okay? You may not want to wait for Amazon to go over the strike price. You may be up thousands of dollars and want to get out. Either way, you have to determine your own money management. I'm just telling you and teaching you how to predict it. And here again, here is the urban. Just an amazing call. Here it is. I squished it all together, but you can see this beautiful, beautiful chart. So urban is along. This is another bullish stock. In other words, I said the things you could be long things if you want to before Wednesday, urban. 
good, strong, solid stock. And if you can see here, the last couple of days, it's waning and waning and waning to go higher. Had a big bar here, had a big gap up, rally big the day of the earnings last week. It's resting, 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 resting to explode. And that could happen this week. With the FOMC minutes, like all the strong stocks are gonna move higher. Facebook, Amazon, Google, all of them. Tesla, Microsoft, I mean, I can name a million, Ulta. So how can you make money like this in the market? Number one, you learn how to pick which stock symbol to trade. How do you learn that? In my class, through a checklist. It's a 26 point checklist. Simple as that, you learn it. Then you learn how to find high quality gaps that offer momentum moves in the morning. So you scan in the morning to find them, whether you go long or short. Then you learn how to take the positions to get the proper risk to reward entry, which you're doing on the one minute chart because as a day trader, I put in a stop. I don't wanna have an unlimited risk. And even with an option, I risk the amount that I risk in the option. That's it, no more, no less. You learn how to exit the trade and what the target is so you can book money consistently and fast. And if you wanna stay in longer, that's up to you, okay? And you learn to read charts with precision. Precision, 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 which I'm very good at, but that's how you make money as a day trader. So my class, if you are interested, is called the Golden Gap Course. The Golden Gap Course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best gap to play each day. This two-day seminar also teaches six different plays. The class is Sunday, March 20th, and Monday, March 21st. Now, I usually do the classes on Saturdays and Sundays or Saturdays and Mondays. I'm doing this one-time only class on Sunday and Mondays. So for people that have conflicts on Saturdays, you work or have other conflicts, you would want to do this class because I never, ever usually do it on a Sunday and Monday. But I am for this next one. Each play teaches how to enter and exit the gap trade. The play is very important because this is how you make money, okay? And you need to learn when the gap is highly rated so you know when you will be able to take a play in the first 30 minutes of the day because that's how you get the momentum. This is so important in making money trading. It, it's a make or break it, okay? The rating system is absolutely everything to me. It tells me when something's good, when something's not good, whether to do it or not do it. So the Golden Gap rating system is designed to make sure you choose a stock symbol that will provide profit. That's how you're gonna do it within the first 30 minutes of the day. The system is very detailed and looks at 26 rating points in the course. All the points are based on the daily chart of a stock. The points use math and science in conjunction with technical analysis. That's how I'm getting the prediction to analyze the price patterns to choose which stock symbol and gap to trade of the day. 26 points is a lot of things to look at to rate a stock. It's a lot. It is also a very detailed system, but this is the reason why you can accurately do it. If I could come up with 2,600 points, I would, and then i never lose a dime, okay? But this is the reason why the Golden Gap system is so special, because it narrows down quality with a microscopic look. And it's looking at what the gap is telling you to predict it. Same thing that I did with the market. The gap itself and the price the stock is gapping at is telling you if it's going to give you a trade within the first 30 minutes of the day to make money with huge risk reward, and that's what you want to do. So the Golden Gap course is so much more than a two-day class. It is a system, and this is what I was talking about. You are learning a skill. It's an entire system for you to learn, to do options or swing trades or day trades, and you're gonna learn it to learn how to read charts, to learn how to predict what something's gonna do before it does it, whether it's an ETF to use for futures, whether it is whether it's even something like you can use it for Forex, it's where we only have one gap a week at Forex because it only closes once a week. The Golden Gap course teaches you how to grab hold of the profits in the market early in the day, and that's what I like, and that's what I just really, really love because I have no patience as you start to do this on a regular basis, it will help your life and trading tremendously. And as you make money on a consistent basis in the market, day after day after day, you will have increased confidence in yourself. Even when I have a crappy day or a crappy week, which sometimes I do, everybody does. I never lose confidence in myself and I never lose confidence in my system. And usually what happens is after that, if I have a crappy day, I usually get up the next day and I am so determined to make money and so much money and have so much confidence. If I get a good gap, I usually make so much more than I lost the previous day. You must believe in yourself and be optimistic and confident in what you do and understand that the money is gonna to come to you if you're willing to take the risk and be focused. And it does take a level of focus and you do have to know something that works. If you don't have a system that works, you won't make money in the market no matter what you do. And it will be a struggle for you. But I have so much confidence in what I do and I know that it works because I've been doing it for eight years. And that is not a long time in the life of a person, but it's a long time in the life of a trader. And especially, particularly, 
because it's all I've been doing. It's all I've been doing. Nothing but gaps for eight years. I'm mostly shorting, which is why I'm expert in shorting and always doing it on the one minute chart, which is why I can read things so quickly. And this confidence builds on yourself every day and every week and every year. And that's how you get to the point where you're making $100 a day and $200 a day. And you have all the time in the world to build it up. But you've got to start somewhere. If you're losing, your confidence is in the toilet, okay? It will flow into other areas also of your life because the more confident you become, it will help you do better in other career endeavors. Anything else you want to do, your personal relationships, okay, and your overall well-being to feel good about yourself. One of the most valuable things that you learn during the Golden Gap course is to have conviction in the Golden Gap strategy. And this conviction will help you produce positive results in your trading and not only that in your life. And there's something to be said for people that believe that they are winners because trading can be challenging when you're starting out and you don't know a darn, darn thing. And it can be challenging. And if you stay positive and you're confident in yourself, you will get over the hurdles of the beginning portions of doing stuff. So learn how to trade the golden gap. The market is right here. I don't know where we ended up closing today. Chart looks beautiful. Haven't made a high yet for the year in the QQQs, although we have already in the SPY. It's, everything looks great. And we're looking to blow, like I said, on the FOMC minutes on Wednesday. The market is just looking for a reason to blow. So the money you desire is for the taking. If you wanna learn how to trade my method, and you've just got to have the proper knowledge. It ha has to do with gaining the right knowledge. You're building the skill. You're learning the skill. And all of this emotional stuff that I'm talking about about money has a huge impact on your trading too. So I teach a class. It is a complete system. You learn how to pick the stock. You learn how to take the entries. You learn how to find the targets. You learn something called the stock switch, which is the play I create in the market. So you want to focus on one strategy. Whether you go long, bullish gaps, or you short, bearish gaps, you're looking for results. Every day you're getting up and looking for the best gap. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. That's the one that's on next week. The 20th and 21st is the bearish gap class. The class is online. Retakes are free. Here's the dates and times. March 20th and 21st, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the cost of the class is $39.99. If you're interested, this is the bearish class. Email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com to sign up. The papers to register and sign up are not on my website. You must email me for the information. Kathy can put my email in the room there. Does anyone have any questions? I'm also offering this. I've done this before. Every once in a while, every couple months, it helps people out. If you want to pay as you learn, you can sign up for the Golden Gap class this month by Friday. You've got to sign up by Friday, March 17th. You would pay half, $19.99.50 now. Be in the live room, trade in the room, and then you pay the remaining portion of the class in 30 days. Then you take my calls in the room, do half the class, and finish it up then in a month. And then in April, you do the rest. This may be a good idea for some of you who want to start out slow. And then you can be in the room with me and you train for the month. If you're interested in this, I'm offering this through Friday for this class only March 17th. Email me at melissathestockswitch.com if you want to sign up for that. And also this is the last class in March. This is the last gap class that I'm doing where the price is going to be $39.99. Some of you have been following me for so many years. The class price is increasing as of April 1st. My business is increasing. I have many, many projects on the horizon and exciting things are going to happen and more live experiences for my students to see me trading live and to be in the room with me and to, to, to just tons and tons of things that I have going on that I can't even talk about right now because we don't have enough time. But if you've been following me and you want to learn, the class price is going up as of April 1st. So your path to success is a Golden Gap course. You've got to learn it and do it and stay on a system. Whether you do options or day trades, it doesn't matter. And I teach another class here, if anyone's interested, called the Trends course. This is a course on how to read trends and stock charts. I do this class maybe every three months. If you're interested in this or to sign up, it's $9.99. This is more for long-term trades or swing trades. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want to sign up for this. And if you want to do both, you can do both and actually save 500 bucks. If you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class, Bullish or Bearish, and the Trends class, you save $4.99. And you just pay for all, everything together and you do, 
the March Golden Gap in the next trends class. Now, for those of you that are interested in the longs, and I talked about Amazon, and I talked about the EXPR and the Urban, I'm doing a bullish Golden Gap course for the first, first time in April. Again, you'd have to sign up for this class though by March 31st, because this price will go up as well on April 1st. But the class is April 5th, 6th, and 7th, noon to five, it's during the week. So if you're busy and you can't do the class on the weekends and you wanna go long, you prefer to go long, I call longs in the room even though I mostly like to short, but I know how to call and trade bullish gaps as well as the shorts. And Urban was just one of them, Amazon is another, and I think right now you could be long overnight stuff because of the market. Anyways, this class is during the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Again, it's online and all retakes are free. So if you sign up now, you can retake it for free as many times as you want. Even though the class price is going up, you pay for it now, you can redo it whenever you want for free, as long as you sign up by the end of this month. And if you wanna do both classes, I had a couple people that did this last month. If you wanna learn the bearish class and the bullish class, you can sign up for both and you actually save the most. And I'm offering the trading room free till the end of 2016 for anyone that signs up for the bullish class and the bearish class at the same time by this Friday, for the March class and the April class. Total price is $59.98.50. And you basically save almost five grand because you get the room free to the end of the year. You'd save $2,000 on the classes. And this is a great deal. And you, I'm offering this until Friday the 18th. And then you do the bearish class next week and the bullish class the following week. And you get the room free to the end of the year. You get all my calls. And if you're interested, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. So think about what I said today. It's about empowering yourself to do it. You've got to start to enjoy your life more, not work like a crazy person. And, and, and we all work hard when we have projects or things we want to do. And sometimes you take a weekend and you do a class because you want to work less later. You invest the time and the effort and the money right now so you can get to the point that you want to be later on in life. But it really has a lot to do with this first period of the day in the first 30 minutes. Whether you go long or short, it doesn't matter. It's that time of the day that has all the money in it where you can really just hit the home runs. And I also think it's very important to love what you do. You know, it's, it's interesting because I've had a lot of uh, system issues because I didn't, I didn't switch out my computer. And then it just got to the point where it was so, it was so obvious that I needed to, to change my system that I finally had to push myself to do it. I always say to people, don't let things get so bad in your life or your job or your relationships that you're up against the wall till you have to make the change. I don't know why it is, it's true for all of us, sometimes change is so difficult for us. And, and even I proved it to myself just with switching out my darn computer. And I waited to the very last minute, okay? Don't do this to yourself with your life. If you don't like your job right now, you don't like what you're doing, or you're training right now, you don't like the strategy you're doing, or you're losing money, don't wait till it gets so bad till you get fired from your job or, or whatever that you change and do something different from your life. And, and point in fact with me, don't wait till your computer breaks down and nothing works, okay? We all do this to yourself. Trust me when I say that I'm speaking from experience. So that's the webinar. Thank you for coming. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any questions at all? Earning season, the next earning season starts in about three weeks. It's gonna be an amazing time to trade. Luckily, my new computer will be hooked up for the next earning season. Thank goodness. Does anyone have any questions at all? Anything? Well, you can email me here if you do. If you would like a trial to the live training room for the rest of the week, you can email me there as well. If you would like to sign up for the pay half now, half later, email me or the class by the end of this week. Again, it's March 20th and 21st, a special Sunday and Monday class I'm doing, which is good for people that work on Saturdays or have other conflicts. The webinar will be on YouTube tonight if you wanna watch it. And go and subscribe to my YouTube site. Just go there and subscribe. And you'll get all the videos and plays of the days. And I'm going to do a video on, on Amazon tonight, too. Exactly, Galahad. Look at, look at the market. Look at the market today. I don't know if you were here when I said the market's going to explode on Wednesday with the FOMC minutes. Jay is asking about stats. 
I do not have on my website any any uh, previous picks or, or calls or anything on this on my website. In fact, I just revamped the website and I'm probably gonna end up having to revamp it again another time this year. The best I can tell you is to come in the live room, be in the live room with me to get the calls for a one week trial. Or you can talk to previous students. I don't have anything on the website of previous stats. Or go watch the 1200 videos I have on YouTube. And you know what? People do. People that seriously, seriously want to trade have watched every video I have on YouTube. And you know what? Those people are serious and they can see that I can predict what to do. Because if you go back and watch everything I've called about the market and some of the calls I've made long term for some of these stocks, you can see that I know what I'm talking about. I had a gentleman, I'll tell you this really quickly since Jay asked me. I had a gentleman that called me from Israel. This was last week. Yoshi. I don't know if he's here or not. He told me that in one week he watched every video I had every single solitary video in a week's time and people that don't have the time to do that that want to go just look at something which I don't even have because I don't have enough time to do that so unfortunately because I'm running the business myself and I do want to have a life anyone that has gone back and watched all my videos is serious about training and 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 I have people to do it I have a lot of people to do it and this is why I have almost 300,000 hits on my YouTube site but if you go back and watch my videos you'll, you'll know that I know what I'm talking about you'll see the consistency in my calls and if you do that, you're serious. And you're serious about spending four grand or five grand, which is what the price of the class is going up to as of April 1st. And you'll know that I know what to do. If you can't take the time to do that and you want to print out of this, that, and the other thing, which I'm not providing people with, then you're not serious enough about doing it. Then don't spend the four grand. Go and take the time for free to watch every YouTube, every YouTube video I have. Whether it takes you one week like Yoshi or, or a year, do it. And then you'll know that I know what I'm talking about. Because I want you to be serious about it. I want you to take the time to do it. I want people to believe and be successful and be confident in the choice that they're making to come and spend the money for the class. And, and that's why, honestly, I haven't had time to put anything on the website. And it's being revamped. And I'm hiring a full-time employee in, in the next few months. But the bottom line is, I can't provide you with that right now, and I'm not going to. But you know what? You can go on YouTube and watch every video, and some people have done it. And when those people come to me and they tell me they've done it, then I know that they're going to do great. That guy is going to do great. That guy is going to do great. I don't think he's here right now. He writes something in the room, but he's going to do the class next week. And you know what? He's going to make money out of the gate immediately because he probably has 100% conviction in what I'm talking about because he watched all my calls. If you went long the market in a call that I made in the market when I started doing videos and signed up on YouTube in 2011, you would be up so much money right now, you would have been up a million dollars. And I wish that I would have bought spider options in the market in 2011. I didn't, but I wish I would have. I wasn't doing options then. And I wasn't going long the S&P. But, you know, what are you going to do? So there you have it. All right, have a good night, everyone. We're over time. Thanks for coming. Nice smile on the website picture. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.